हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर जेटलिंग एलोसर आई एम रनिंग ए यूट्यूब चैनल कॉल्ड लॉ स्पीचेस एंड इन दिस चैनल आई एम अपलोडिंग द माय लेक्चर्स ऑन लॉ इंटरनेशनल अफेयर्स एंड आल्सो द टॉपिकल इश्यूज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड वॉच माय वीडियोस एंड आल्सो इफ यू लाइक इट प्लीज शेयर माय वीडियोस टू योर फ्रेंड्स एंड रिलेटिव्स एंड टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम डिलीवरिंग द on the WTO World Trade Organization you know after the second world war not only we lost the human beings in millions but also entire economies have been collapsed to restructure it we need a organization with that view after forming of the united nations organization the charter also providing that we should re not only maintain the world peace and security in the world but also social and economic development of the people around the world so social economic and cultural development may take place because of when we are economies are very strong when econ economies are not strong it is not possible so with that view in 1948 the gat general agreement and trade and tariff negotiations have been started by countries around the world the gat was signed by india also on 8th of july of 1948 so the gat general agreement and trade and tariff the talks were conducted at different levels seven round of talks were conducted and ultimately the final round the uruguay round have been concluded in uruguay and in between that there is a lot of lot of differences were arisen between the developed countries and developing ten countries what to be included what not to be included whether services should be added or not so there was lot of lot of differences agriculture should be added or not intellectual property should be added or not in the cat negotiations and whether services should be added or not so the developed countries have been pressurized uh, the developing countries but india brazil egypt and some countries the vehemently opposed the introduction of the items pertaining to the agriculture i intellectual property rights in the gat but ultimately a common sort of a consensus of emerged in the uruguay round of talks so there is a dunkel proposal has come so again that proposal has so received a lot of lot of criticism from the developed countries and also from developing countries so ultimately there were negotiations were conducted in a in a serious manner 
and we incorporated we accepted the gat general agreement and trade and tariff in 1994 and it was decided to change the nomenclature of the gat to world trade organization wto so the wto has came into picture from the first of january 95 and the at the time of commencement of that wto there are 128 countries have been signed the wto document in marrakesh in morocco and then some countries like china they have not participated in gat talks or they have not signed the wto document but the china which is one of the biggest economies of the in the world has also joined the wto in 2000 without much persuasion it itself has shown its inclination to join and it has signed the the wto charter then the question comes to our mind that what are the functions of the wto the world trade organization the main functions are Number one is administrating the trade agreements across the globe. Any agreements, whether it is a bilateral agreement or a multilateral agreement, are there. It has to administer, and it has to sponsor the agreements. So free trade, free economies, till. 1995 the world has seen protectionism the developed countries have protected their economies by imposing special tariff anti dumping measures so that should not be there so the first and foremost function of the wto is to have the administrating of the trade agreements number 2 it should act as a forum for trade negotiations and number 3 handling of trade disputes if you have any disputes are there in between the member states we have one forum is there under article 63 of the wto charter that is the dispute settlement body dsp they can approach the parties state parties can approach the dsb and can settle the case again is the their ring state parties then there is a another function of the wto is to monitoring the trade policies so what kind of trade policies the states have been adopting whether it is a, a protective policies whether it is a liberalized policies or it has to be monitored it has to submit the report to the wto then there is a fifth duty a function we can say that is the technical assistant and uh, training to developing economies because developing economics requires uh, the expertise knowledge from the developed countries in their development if they are not given they should not attain the such sort of development so with with regard to this it has been added here as a 
another important function in the WTO regime. Then the last function is that uh, cooperation with other international organizations. So it should correspond, it's exchange, cooperate in between the different different organizations, whether economic organizations or any other organization like the World Co World World Bank, IBRD, IMF International Monetary Fund, a food a food and agriculture organization. So all the world bodies it has to cooperate. This is a, another important aspect of the WTO. Then we go to the structure of the WTO. So WTO have certain organs like number one is a <coughs> directorate general uh, to say it is a secretary it is headed by the a director general currently the Roberto Azevedo is serving as a director general to the WTO he is assisted by deputy director generals so he will elect the post the director general occupies the four years in the office but the present incumbent director general has elected for the second term so that monitors the activities in around the the wto mechanism there are around 650 staff members are working in the wto secretariat they belong to 80 different countries in addition to that we have ministerial conferences this is a very utmost organ in the WTO mechanism every two years once in a two years the the ministers of the WTO members they come and they will take the decisions which is pertaining to the trade policies, goods and services which is there in the objectives of the WTO. Then we have one general council also there that is also one of the organ on the WTO. So general council will look after day to day affairs of the WTO pertaining to its functions and it may sit for any number of times. So these are the important principles organs. Then the head office of the WTO is located in the Geneva and as and today there are 164 countries of members of the WTO and in addition to that the WTO has so a having observer status in the different international organizations like Food and Agriculture Organization, UNESCO, United Nations Development Program. So in most of the organizations like IMF, International Monetary Fund, IBRD, World Bank, there also it has a having the observer status. Even those organizations also been observer having enjoying the observer status in the WTO. So the as and today goods, services and IPR, intellectual property rights and also the agriculture are the 
main focal points or areas covered in the WTO. So WTO is playing very very a pivotal role in bringing or removing the trade barriers in between the nations. So the word of protectionism has been gone because of the advent of the WTO World Trade Organization. So we see that the WTO plays a not only a vital role but also indispensable position in the molding the world economy. Because of world became a global business. Then we have the world markets have been opened because of the coming into force of the World Trade Organization. So thank you.